hey you guys so i'm sorry i haven't been around um it's my birth month and i actually just went to vegas over the weekend last weekend um as i'm filming this it is the third saturday of november and my trip was the um 11th to the 13th my birthday was the week before anyway so I want to talk to you guys, not necessarily about what I did, but just the fact that this was A, the farthest trip that I've ever taken, because I'm from New York, and B, pretty much the most independent trip that I've ever taken, other than class trips and stuff like that in school. Um, I did have my aunt with me, but I really did do a lot for myself that I'm pretty proud of and I really want to talk about it briefly not necessarily everything that we did there but the key things that I think cross people's minds when they go on trips and especially when they travel alone because I did I flew in and out of Vegas by myself um, for the first time ever flying anywhere by myself, and for anybody who is in a wheelchair or anybody who has a family member in a wheelchair that they're afraid or nervous about traveling, I wanted to kind of reassure you. For me personally, I feel like it went really well and a lot better than I thought and a lot better than I've ever experienced and I feel like that was because I was by myself and I'm guessing the reason is because when you have somebody with you you don't get as much help like you, they just assume that the person with you is gonna do everything they're used to it or you know this that and the other from the second I got to the airport here in New York, I had help. I had three people rushing to me, ready to help me at like four in the morning. Well, no, by the time I got there, it was almost five. And, you know, the flight attendants were both great. They couldn't have done enough for me. You know, if I flew coach there and first class back, both were great. Um, coming back, first of all, I saw the same guy in Vegas coming back that I saw when I got there, and I was teasing him, like, do they ever let you leave? <laughs> and I hope they're paying you well enough, but he, he was great. Um, but coming back, I did run into a little bit of an attitude with some women, and but I mean it's New York, you're gonna run into that especially early. I was surprised I didn't when I got there to leave for Vegas, but um yeah she was in charge of helping me get out to my ride home, and didn't even take me to the arrival floor, so we had to change floors and everything. But other than that, that was pretty much the only kind of, um, pickup that we came across. Um, the hotel was great. My aunt got, um, a fully handicapped accessible room, which was gorgeous. I want their bathroom in my dream house, other than the tile. Um, we stayed at Monte Carlo. Um, we went to two shows, Baxter Boys and Kendra. Um, Kendra was at the Paris Hotel. That arena was great. It was very small. It was a Broadway-ish kind of a show. We got front row. We had VIP. The seats were great. I actually, I got out of my wheelchair because the seats were all plush and it was amazing. You could have fallen asleep if the show wasn't so entertaining. But again, I'm not going to really get into my opinions. But I did want to talk about playing Hollywood. I do VIP. 
I could have left them very happy. It was amazing. Going into the arena, it's not really a good sign when the person looks at your ticket and is like, I'm not putting you there. And you bought a handicapped seat. It's like, okay, so what's wrong with it? Turns out it was far. And I guess they just didn't feel safe putting me there. But then they put me somewhere that actually ended up being a little bit further with a better-ish view. But it gave me flashbacks to the last Baxter Police concert that I've ever left which was 1999, that was my first Action Boys concert ever, besides a Jingle Bowl concert, um, but, yeah, so the, those seats made me really, really nervous, so we got moved again, and the only place that they can move us was down further, so I didn't feel like I was going to die, but you couldn't really see because it wasn't really a handicapped spot. So I have reached out to Planet Hollywood customer service via email, but I did want to make this video to hopefully maybe reach them this way. Um, I, I'm not knocking them, you know, I know that places still need to, you know, revamp and update and comply with. Um, the Americans with Disability Act codes, the current codes, not the prior to 1990. Um, and I'm willing to help. You know, um, I know that it's, like I've said before in probably many of my videos, it's pretty hard to decide what is and what isn't equipped unless you're in a wheelchair yourself. Even if they were to get in a wheelchair just to get the feel of it. Unless you're in a wheelchair and have had prior experience, you don't know. And, you know, most of the people, when I do run into problems, a lot of the people that are with me are just happy to be there, and they're not ones to complain. I'm usually the one that's like, listen, we gotta do something about this. Like, you know, it's not spoiled of me to want to be close due to the fact that A, I'm sitting down, and B, I have to feel safe. And then there's the whole, in the American Disabilities Act, there's the line of vision clause that you have to be able to see. So, you know, that's something that I'm really willing to help. I'm not, you know, wanting to knock anybody. It's a beautiful arena, but it just, there needs to be better accommodations, especially because it's Vegas and people are traveling to that arena, and you just can't really put somebody in a wheelchair and just expect them to be happy just to be there. I mean, I could have easily left if it was New York, and I could have just gone home 20, 25 minutes. I probably would not have stayed. Um, but I mean, the show, what I saw of it was great. Because Spanish was obviously. But yeah, I, I just, I really wanted to talk about my experiences as far as accessibility goes and, you know, what I did and didn't get help with. The door to the hotel room, by the way, is extremely heavy. I know that's for security reasons, so I'm not really going to knock it. I did manage the one time that I had to go and open it. Um, but it is pretty heavy. Um, what else? It thinks it's hot there at night. It really does. It's pretty bad. Um... The sidewalks are pretty good, especially considering New York sidewalks are terrible. Um, Vegas sidewalks aren't too bad. Um, it's not as crowded as you would think. I'm coming from living an hour away from New York City, which is crowded as hell. 
but it's not it's Vegas it doesn't have like the Vegas feel that you would think in my opinion um it was great but it just wasn't hustle and bustle and active like I thought um but yeah uh my first trip alone back and forth anyway I spent three days with my aunt who's from Seattle so it was nice to be able to see her spend a few days with her experience all of it um and yeah I would definitely travel again by myself because you can't help <laughs> that's like the main, the main thing that I could tell you and take is you're going to be safe and you're going to get help and you're, you're going to be watched because they don't want to be liable, first of all, but they're also pretty nice people and pretty accommodating. They could not want to be not liable and be a dick about it if they want, but they're not. Um, yeah, I flew Virgin America from JFK to Las Vegas Airport, so shout out to all of them for being awesome. And yeah, if you're thinking about taking a trip or you want to and you didn't think that you could, or your family member, like I said before, is nervous, I hope that this video helps. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, or whatever you can leave them in the comment section you can send me a private message i always put all my social media in the description so you can find me there follow me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys next time